Yo. You, you, you are now listening to the smoking section. Oh, yeah. Or oh, you'll find hot topics. And fire conversations. Keep it locked. You hear me? Yo, what is up, podcast world? How you doing? What's going on? Y'all know what's happening. This is the smoking section. Get your lighters and fire up, spark up. Right on that. I hope y'all's having a good day. Check it out, man. I just got some of the biggest news um, that I could ever hope for. <clears throat> um, and and it looks like I'm going to be in Florida for a little bit. I'm going to be out there working, making this dough. Um, I'm sad that I got to leave my boy. Um, but you know what? Daddy will come home. I'll be home for a few weeks and be able to see him and not have to worry about work, not have to worry about money, you know, and just be chilling. Um, but it's tough. Anyone who knows knows that it's tough. Um, and, you know, especially for especially for my dads out there. Right. Like, no, ladies, too. Right. Ladies, too. But I want to say something for my dads out there. Right. For all you dads out there who have to get up in the mornings and and leave your baby, right? Or leave your wife, right? Whether y'all are together or not. If you're a working parent, man, I got to salute you. It's tough to get up and leave your babies at home. It's tough to go and drop your babies off at a babysitter. It's tough to go out there and slave away to come home and, you know, to to continue this, this, this responsibility. You know what I mean? People think I do all this work just simply because I like to. I mean, if money wasn't a thing, I'd be podcasting every day and dancing all day. But unfortunately, I don't live that type of... I I'm, I was not afforded that type of life. Right? And it's easy for, you know, my, my son's mom to look at me and say, Oh, well, you know, you're late picking him up. Or, oh, you know this and that or oh you know you have to drop them off but it's like yo fam like I work I provide she don't provide you know what I'm saying and I'm not here to bash her right but but God forbid bro you know what I mean like God forbid us be good men they look at people look at us and say well that's that's what you're supposed to do and it's like god damn right this is what I'm supposed to do but let's not forget it right Let's not forget that there's guys out there who's fathered children and never took care of them. And let's not act like there's never been a woman to give birth to a child and not take care of it. Right? Like, like there's plenty of cases of women who give their kids up for adoption or just run off. They take off, leave the babies with the man. And what is this man supposed to do? You know what I mean? women same thing right same thing so we both go through these things but i just feel like men do not get celebrated enough and i don't know why right like i'm being a good dad right like i could easily just take off on my boy and leave it up to 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 her and her fiance her soon-to-be husband right or i don't even know if they're married but leave it up to them like y'all figure that shit out You know, and especially in my case, I have all grounds. I have, I stand on enough ground to be able to do that. Like I'm literally a blood test away from being able to do that. But I would never do that to my son. I have my son's feet tatted on my arm. I would never abandon Elijah, even if he wasn't mine. Right now, my son looks just like me. (coughs) Excuse me. (coughs) Excuse me. Uh, Blazing, I'm sorry. It's not COVID. But... I love my son, you know what I mean? And I would never abandon him even if he wasn't mine. But imagine the men, imagine the amount of men who who took care of babies, who raised children to find out that they weren't his, right? Like, y'all got me fucked up. Y'all got me fucked up. A lot. Of, there's a lot of men out there raising babies who ain't their own, right? Just like women, just like women, but the difference is that a woman can hide that that secret. A woman can conceal that truth a lot easier than a man can. You know what I'm saying? There's laws in place to protect the sanctity of marriages. 
right? To protect the honor of a woman. But what about us men? You know? And for you women, I know you guys catch the short end of the stick because of... You, you know, this is a saying I heard as a, as a child born as, as a mama's baby and a daddy's maybe. And I'll never forget that shit the moment I heard it. Right? But I could tell you one thing. I could tell you one thing. There's never a maybe in my mind about my son. Right? I watched him take his first breath. I whispered into his ears. God loves you. And mommy and daddy love you. We love you, Elijah. Welcome to this world. I promise to take care of you. I promise to love you always. And people don't understand what that does to you as a person, right? I work in construction, fam. I work on rooftops. Sometimes I'm on a fucking hundred foot roof, standing at a 40 degree pitch. And if you don't know what that means, Go rock climbing and see if you could stand on on the side of that wall with a rope on and work on that wall. That's practically what I do, right? I'm over here working with electricity as an electrician and installing solar panels. That shit is no, that shit is nothing to just snicker at. It's hard work, right? And here I am even taking on a a larger load and and a heavier, a heavier task just so that I could give my son a life that I had dreamt of, right? And the thing was, is my dad was a provider, so I had a lot, you know? Sure, we weren't the richest kids on the block, but I'll tell you one thing, I did sure see a lot of kids with a lot less, right? And it allows me to to kind of relax a little bit, right? That I knew that I had a good dad, right? And that's a that's a goal to reach, but at the same time, it also puts that pressure, that pressure on me to outdo my dad. Because as a parent, you always want to give your kids a better life than you had. Now, my boy's little and he don't understand much about life. He don't understand, you know, what a stepbrother means or a stepdad means, right? But one day he'll grow up and he'll understand these things. And I just hope. I hope one day he stumbles across this podcast, right? And he hears me talk. He hears his dad speak about how hard it was to leave. How hard it was to go travel and work. How hard it was to say, fuck. Like, I got to put my personal feelings aside and do what's best for my boy. Right? Now, do I want to move out of California? I do. I wanted to move out of California even before he was born. Right, and that shit only got accentu- it got accentuated once he was born. I hate living in California. I think this place is a fucking shithole. Right? The government here is fucking stupid. The people here are crazy. No one no one's nice. Like California used to be a place full of nice people. Like, everyone was so nice to each other. So chill. Minded their own business. But now it's like what the fuck is going on here, people? Right, so I want to speak to my guys specifically because you know I could sit here and go on about women, right? Like, like I don't know. Like to me, it's hard. It's hard to make that correlation because it's not like I'm, I'm not a woman, right? But then on top of that is I was raised by single mothers. You know what I mean? Like all my sisters and my mom was a single mother. My mom was a single mother, right? Never took marriage ever, ever again after my dad. See, now my dad was her third marriage too. Right. So like I see I see both sides of the coin with my mom. Right. She just got to that point where she said, fuck it, I'm going to do this by my damn self. And I applaud her for that because she could have easily found another man. My mom's a beautiful woman and she could have easily have found another man. My sister, Adrian, raised two babies, moved across the country, raised two babies by herself. Right. Told told the baby daddy, I don't need you. Right. Like if you want to be with us, act right. But I don't need you in my life. And she raised them babies to be beautiful, strong, smart, trustworthy, and honest women, right? And then you, then you have, you know, my sister Emma, right, who's got two babies, right, and 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 went through her own shit with her baby daddy. I mean, they're together now, and and I thank God for that. My sister Liz raised a baby for years by herself before she finally took a man's hand in marriage. 
so as my sisters, you know, begin to kind of settle down and, and get into their, in, into where their purpose is, like, it's just normal for me. It's natural. It's natural to see a woman take care of these babies and be strong, right? Now, I know that's not the case for every other girl. I understand that completely. But no one ever talks about the struggles that guys go through. No one ever sits here and, and gives a hand for the guys who are playing the roles of mommy and daddy. But you see that shit on money, but you see that shit for women, right? Like I get so pissed off when I see, hey, you know, happy Father's Day to the moms doing playing both roles. Well, what about us men who do the same fucking thing? Right? I haven't I I haven't brought I haven't brought a woman into my life like that. Sure, I've dated, right? But I haven't I haven't brought another woman into my life like that and had kids or got married. Fuck no, I'm doing this shit on my goddamn own. Right? So y'all pour a shot out for me because this shit's fucking, this shit is stugging out here. Y'all got me fucked up. Y'all got me all the way fucked up. If y'all think I ain't going to take a second and pat myself on the motherfucking back. Let me see you get up there on that fucking roof. Right? Let me see you get up there on the roof. Let me see how you react when your baby comes home talking about stepmommy this or stepdaddy that stepbrother this and stepsister that let me see how you fucking function right and I've never once gotten in between nobody and their shit right because their drama is their drama I ain't tripping right but you're gonna tip your hat to me right when you talk about good dads you're gonna tip your hat to me when you talk about good people right I'm my own dad and anybody else out there who's going through this struggle who goes who who goes to sleep at night staring at the wall wondering if they're doing everything they can buddy you are baby girl you are you're giving it all you got but let me tell you something you could give a little bit more you could push a little bit harder you could stay up a little bit later you could get up a little bit earlier you can train a little a little harder right be a little more focused a little more dedicated a little more understanding This bare minimum shit is for the fucking birds. Babies aren't bare minimum. And some of y'all are too comfortable with getting away with the fucking bare minimum. And let this be, let this be a word of caution. Let this be a word of caution to anybody who's having children. These motherfuckers is a 24-7 hour job. And if you feel that you could just lay back relax and let somebody take care of you let me tell you something that shit gets old real fucking fast real fucking fast right like i was reading this post i'm gonna go on a little rant but i seen this post right talking about if you would still marry a woman if see i don't know i'm gonna talk to my guys right i hope you i hope you girls listen up right but i'm gonna talk i'm gonna talk to my men real quick i seen a post talking about if you were gonna if you proposed to a woman, right? She said yes, but she said she wasn't gonna take your last name. Would you still marry her? Now I'm not here to to talk about certain cultural differences. I'm not here to talk about this or that. I'm an American, and the American way is for a woman to take the man's last name in marriage. And uh, let me let me talk let me talk very bluntly. That's bu- it's bullshit if you don't. If a woman does not take my last name in marriage, right? There's only one way I'm going through with it. We split half of everything: the house, the bank accounts, the food, the food bill, the light bill, the water bill, the bill bills. All of it. We're splitting it down the middle. This wedding. This fucking wedding bitch We're about to split this shit down the fucking middle Right There's too many There's too many girls Running around right now Right And men Right And men Who think that men should be providing everything And women shouldn't You know I'll look at it like this Let's go old school Because I'm a little conservative on this Right I feel like if I marry a woman A woman And we're going to have children Like we're having children We've made the decision to have children. I don't want her to work, right? I don't want her to work. 
Um, I mean, if she would want to work, I, I wouldn't mind, but I would rather it be like a night job somewhere where I come home from work and the baby could be with me. You take, you know, you go, go take your night shift. Um, but other than that, you know, I would, I would rather you be home, take care of the pad, hold down the pad. And so, yes, that does mean clean the fucking house. Yes, that does mean have dinner prepared. Yes, that, yes, yes. Wash the fucking laundry. Yes. Right? Because for, for uh, at minimum, 40 hours a week, I'm out here paying the bills. I'm out here getting these bills paid. I'm, I'm out here doing what it takes to get the food in the motherfucking refrigerator. Right? So I think it's only right that you do that other part. Yeah, I know. I know taking care of a baby's hard. But that's not an excuse. That's not an excuse for you not to wash the motherfucking dishes. That's not an excuse to not make the bed before I get home. Because let me tell you something. I get up before your ass is awake. My ass is up and out that fucking door before you or that baby's awake. So why don't you get up a little bit earlier then? Right? You want time? Oh, I don't have enough time. We'll get up earlier. Well, I'm tired. Well, don't stay up so late. Well, the baby. Well, hey, we made an agreement. We we made an agreement on taking care of this baby. Because it's not like I come home, take my boots off, and I say, hey, don't fucking bother me. I take care of the baby too. Maybe it's at a different time or in a different way. But taking care, when it comes to what you're doing at home while I'm at work and vice versa, that baby don't, that baby don't come in. Don't that, that's not a part of the conversation. That part is erroneous to the conversation and motherfuckers better start realizing that. Right. And so if you're not going to take my name in marriage, right? Sure. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you to that. Right. But we're, we're going to work it out where your ass go to work. Right. Or you wash your clothes, I'm washing mine. Because if you could take my money, if you could take my time, right, and take my child, right? Like, let's say we get divorced and you could take my child, bitch, you're going to take my fucking last name. And y'all got me fucked up. That one, that one's got me fucked up, right? Like, if a woman wanted to be a provider to me, wanted to provide for me, provide for my son, provide for the family. Shit, bitch, fuck, motherfucker, I'll take your last name. (laughs) I'll take your last name, dude, by all means, throw that shit down. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got me fucked up. Y'all got me fucked up. Y'all got me fucked up. Like, I don't know where this whole, like, war against the patriarchy thing came from, right? But there'll come a day right there'll come a day when people realize what the power of a last name really does and the power of a man and a man in his last name a lot of these girls who have this type of like weird obsession right fighting against the patriarchy uh, their dad one their dad was either, either never in their life right one two or and or their parents have never died. Their parents haven't died yet. You will realize what your last name could do when one of your parents pass away. You will realize when you're unconscious somewhere and you end up in the hospital, how that last name can make a huge fucking difference of whether or not you can see your family. I'm not saying women don't be proud of where you come from or or whatever and this isn't some like crazy fight for the patriarchy thing but there's traditions there's certain traditions that make sense hyphenating last names and all that i know that's a cultural thing right like i know for um especially like the hispanic community here in california it's very normal for once a woman gets married she'll hyphenate her last name and again i understand that because even then she's Well, my lovely friends, I interrupt this broadcast to bring you a couple supporters of the Smoking Section podcast. First, we have Tiki Jenkins, 
who is a musical artist and Crump Dancer member of the DCX Crump Crew. Yeah, you can find him on Spotify. Listen to his music. You might even catch a couple of his tunes spinning in the background. Next, I have Jason Judge Snell. Yeah, he's out here repping Bear Witness. He's out here throwing sessions and educating the youth and even adults on the importance of dance and its culture. Find him on Instagram at bearwitness.session. That's B-A-R-E witness dot session on Instagram. Yeah. Thank you guys for always supporting, showing love. Yeah. Now back to the show. Because even then, she's still being addressed as her, as, as, you know, the last name of her husband. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like saying, you know, my, if my last name's Andrade, right? So her, her name would be, you know, Maria Andrade Espinosa. And again, I understand that. I understand that, right? But, but at the same time, I don't want to be so specific on that because that's like, that's a cultural thing, right? That's not here in America. And, and, and you know, we're just, you know, we're just, I, I don't know. I, I just don't know, right? Like, I don't know what, why exactly, why exactly we believe in these things, right? But to me, I know that there's royalty in my DNA. There's royalty in my bloodline. You know what I'm saying? So my son... And when he would ever go, if he would ever go to the reservation and be like, oh yeah, my grandpa was Ron Andrade, they would know exactly who he's talking about. They would know exactly who he's talking about. Oh, my, my dad was Putch Andrade. Oh yeah, we know Putch. Right? But if his last name was Caldwell, right? Or Collins, like his, like his mom's last name or his grandma's last name, they, they would have a harder time identifying him right they would have a harder time identifying who he is and and things like things like death certificates things like things like claiming property and all this shit or even loans loans and and applying for apartments and all this shit dude it's easier when when the people who you're all on this loan with or you're all in this thing with all have the last name it's just easier it makes more sense right so i i just think that you know and this and i have asked people like why would you not take his last name right like why would you not do that oh well you know i just want to it's like you know there's more it's more of a personal like it's more of like a personal attack you know i mean like they're trying to fight something or or like be stubborn about it other than saying like hey like you know you're taking me in in to your family so therefore i should give you my last name right like even look at the whole tradition of a fucking marriage right like the dad comes down the aisle with the daughter and hands his daughter to her husband and if you think about that ritual because it is a ritual if you think about that ritual within the ceremony, that's that's when she gives up her last name. That's the moment she gives up her last name. You know what I'm saying? So I just think I think we ought to take more time, take more time and, and look at this stuff. So and this is mainly for my guys. You know what I'm saying? Women, if you if you want to chime in again, hit me up at Corpse. Right. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Right. Um. I get mad, you know, I get mad when I see this stuff because I I was raised in a house full of women and none of them ever acted this way. So it's just crazy to think that like, I don't think this is a woman issue. I think this is more like a person to person issue. And I just want to hash it out. Right. But I hope you've enjoyed this podcast about to pick up my boy. I hope you guys have had an amazing day. Hope you have an amazing week, month, year and life. Until next time, I'll see y'all on the flip side. All right. Bang, 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 bang. Stay motivated.